How freaking pretty is this? Look, are you serious right now? Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. So today I will be showing my essential beauty favorites and I'm excited so keep on watching. I guess I'll start off with skincare stuff because it's like the best thing to start off with. Everybody knows like what Noxzema is. If you don't know what Noxzema is like I don't even like where you from. Before I shower like I'll have the shower steaming hot. I will have this on my face. Like the best thing to use for your face when you want to remove your makeup. Your face, it leaves your face like really soft. A lot of people for some reason don't like it because they say that it's really harsh. But they also do have a sensitive skin one. And I would really recommend it because I've been using this for years. And it's never, it never stayed me wrong when I touch this product. I don't use this often. I use it once in a while. Body by Rick. I use it on my face and I'll use it sometimes like on um, my back shoulders and sometimes on the back of my legs but it claims to deep cleaning clay it says for you to use this two times a week i probably use it like once a month that's why i still have like quite a bit like me even dented it so and that's because i don't use it often it's one of my favorite 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 um exfoliating gel i got this from the european wax center which i'm really um shocked that i actually even picked this up you apply the exfoliate to wax areas as needed so i get wax but sometimes i'll shave you know like my legs or my arms and after i use this to you know remove any dirt or you know any type of anything that can cause like ingrown hairs so yeah and it's really really lightweight like it's really really like it's really lightweight like as you can see like it's not like grainy or anything so it's not going to irritate your skin which is really nice last skincare product radiant facial serum by Kodali. I think that's how you say it. I got it from Sephora. Little droplets that you just drop on your face and I usually do this like after I've done my facial routine this is kind of just really lightweight it doesn't feel so heavy on my skin now to the fun 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 stuff now to the makeup and you know the products these are the products that i absolutely love and products that i am growing to love so yes the first one i'm going to start off with is a brush it's the only brush that i will be mentioning and it is the angled brush and i got this brush from elf and I love this brush. You can see I need to clean it. But I love this brush so much. When I use this brush, it's usually to fill in my brows when I use eyeshadow to fill in my brows. But I also use this brush to contour my nose. So um, I'll take a color that is like a brown and I will literally, you know, use it to contour the edges of my nose as you can see and i will just slightly just use my finger to blend it in and it literally just gives you that halo of a slimmer nose like i don't know if you can see it but like i instantly see it use that for that and i also use it sometimes to line my waterline with a gel liner so this brush is like so small but it has so many uses and um i don't even know if these are the uses for the brush but i literally use this brush for a bazillion things so yeah this is like one of my favorite brushes product that i will be mentioning is this eyeliner and this eyeliner is from elf I'm just going to be mentioning you know affordable things first before i get into the high-end stuff so yeah i love this eyeliner you have to kind of be pretty good to use this eyeliner like i use this liner to do the inner corner of my eyes and for some people they like to use the gel liner for that but i've managed to be able to use this eyeliner for that and um that's just because i'm kind of sort of good at doing my eyeliner you know i wouldn't say i'm like the bomb i wouldn't say like you know i'm the shit i'm doing that but I'm not bad 
so yeah this eyeliner eyeliner works for me and it's you know it's affordable it's cheap and it does the job so that is it also from elf is this um shimmering gold liner now honestly i doubted this you know like it's from elf and you know everybody knows elf is like the affordable makeup you know it's not high end it's strictly affordable and most people consider elf products for beginners a lot of people are quick to count elf products out but the reality is that elf has some really 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 good products this is probably empty like because when i tell you i use this all the time like i use this all the time and what i'll do is i'll use it um, as like a highlight to highlight under my eye like right here and when I tell you like it's like the prettiest 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 thing like it's just like such a subtle really pretty effect that it gives your eyes and I'm all about the eyes like I'm all about creating a really pretty eye as you can see like and then the Sun like it is just like the prettiest thing ever so I recommend girls to pick this up like and it's affordable like I think it was like three dollars you know like you can't beat that the next product also is an elf product and this I'm telling you okay I went in there and it was like this one and it was a turquoise one that I was going back and forth about and this is like a highlight. I feel like it says it was like an all-purpose body one. Like you could use it for eyeshadow. And I've used it for eyeshadow before. And it was really, really pretty. Like really, really, really pretty. I'm just going to show you how pretty this thing is. Like you have no idea how, like how pretty. Alright, so. Oh my god. Like, bruh. How freaking pretty is this? Like, are you serious right now? Like, this is, it is so pretty. Uh, like, you cannot tell me. Like, it is just, like, so pretty. And I've used it for, like, my cheekbones before. I've used it for my eyeshadow. And it is literally, like, so gorgeous. Like, you have no idea. Like, it was, like, $3. Like, I'm telling you, everything in there is, like, $3. Alright, so, yeah, like, please, please go pick that up. Like, you, like, are you kidding? And it was a turquoise one that was just as pretty as this one, but I felt like this one would go more with my skin tone, so that's why I got this one. The next product, I always, when I tell you, I always get compliments on when I, because I rarely wear red lips. The only red lips that I wear is Ruby Woo, I'm sorry, um, not Ruby Woo, um, Riri by MAC, obviously, and, um, this freaking bad boy from Milani, and it is in Devotion, number 14. When I tell you, I'm literally almost done at this, and I get so many compliments on this red lip, like, I get so many compliments i really love milani products their products are bomb so yes if any of you ladies ever seen me wearing any type of red lipstick it's either riri by mac or it's this bad boy by milani last drugstore item and i don't think i will ever stop wearing this product ever and it is the nyx butter gloss honey and this lip gloss will have your lips so juicy so juicy and so buttery like just thank me right now thank me in the comments right the, right now thank me in the comments right now because if you buy this lip gloss you're never going to want to buy another lip gloss ever again and this is the lip gloss in ginger snap. You can't see it probably. Can you? No. Focus. Bomb. When I tell you bomb, like look at my lips. Like look at them. Like just lip gloss, no lip liner, no nothing. Just this lip gloss alone. I know they also have one in Madeline. So if you're like lighter than me, most girls go for Madeline, 
because this one would probably be a little bit too dark for you but if you're you know a brownie like me you would definitely get this one in ginger snap i think it's like five bucks which is still really really good so on to the more expensive not you know too crazy items so the first one is a blush and all right i will tell you right now the only 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 place that i ever get my brushes from is from mac I don't know what it is about MAC, but MAC makes the perfect blushes for brown skin girls and just women of color, period. Their blushes range, you know, they don't just come out with these really bright pinky, you know, shades that just make no sense when it comes to brown skin. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about, um, you know, these really ridiculously barbie pink pinks and i'm not really that into that you know i like deep you know reds and deep oranges and if it's going to be a pink it's going to be more of like a mauvey pink or you know something that looks really nice on my skin and this is one of my favorites and it is raisin um and i know you guys have heard of raisin it's probably not new to a lot of people but if you've never tried this blush by mac and you're you know a woman of color and you know you're my skin tone or darker i would try this it is so pretty i have it on right now also i've you know i've contoured with um, a shadow that i will show you later but this blush i have also on my cheeks and you know look how pretty that is like it is just the perfect blush and definitely a holy grail for me the next item is the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder and Glow. And I've had this for like six months. And when I tell you, I, I'm not even close to done being done with this. Like a little bit goes such a long way with this. Like you literally need a, you just use your beauty blender and literally a dab, like a dab of this. So bomb. if you do use a lot, I will tell you that it will get creasy and it will look hot horrible is it on today and you can see like it just gives you that really pretty glow i don't think i'll ever go back to the regular one i think i'll always just buy the glow from now on the next product is obviously fenty beauty and this is the trophy wife highlighter and i have it right i have it on right now um as a shimmering powder nobody knows what this is like it's broken right now so I'm not gonna open it and that's the only con that about this highlight is that it broke really easily for me like it's so soft it's that it literally broke in like three days and I've had it for over six months like probably close to a year if you are really OCD about that and you want it to be fixed there are videos on YouTube that shows you how to fix a broken highlighter if any of you guys are interested yeah youtube that i don't have any videos on that but i've seen it the next products are palettes are just all-time fave palettes that i have right now in my collection and the first one is the Too faced chocolate bar palette like i love this palette like as you can see like every almost every shade is gone literally like my favorite shade in here had to be Mazapan, this shade right here. It's the perfect palette for beginners because it literally has every color that you can ever imagine in here um, to do any type of look. You can do a smoky eye, you can do a subtle eye, you can do a brown eye, you can do a purple eye. You, It's like you can do a pink eye. It's so many, it's so many options for you to do in such a small compact palette. Not to mention how compact it is. You can take it to travel so i would definitely re recommend this palette if you're on the hunt for a palette that you can do a lot of looks with and um it's definitely worth the money because of the fact that it's so versatile so again it's the Too faced chocolate palette and these are the colors well the colors that i have left obviously and the next palette that i have is it's it became a fave you know it wasn't always a fave but it became a fave and it is the Jaclyn Hill palette um, by Morphe obviously and um, the reason why it wasn't a fave because of all the shimmering colors I'm really a matte girl 
so I'm not really into sh shimmer too much um, and they don't have as many matte colors as I would like but even still like I've used quite a bit of colors in here like this one I don't even know where it is but I've used quite a bit of colors in here and my favorite has to be this one which is called Crample and yeah is it called Crample yes it's no it's not called Crample oh yeah it is called Crample yes Crample that's one of my favorites and also this one which is Silk Cream these are like my two faves um, out of this palette and this palette is obviously it has like a ton of shades like they are very very pigmented like when I tell you how pigmented these shades are they're so pigmented and once you spray a little bit of fix plus it becomes even more pigmented I'm not gonna do any swatches because I don't want to get messy but definitely if you're in the you see how I already like look <laughs> the last product on my list is the morphe eyeshadow palette and um god is it in burgundy it's like one of their newer palettes that they just came out with and a good friend of mine got this for me it's like the perfect brown palette that like every girl needs in her collection like look how pretty these shades are like these shades are so bomb so pretty and it's so compact and like small i actually use this palette for my eye look today entire palette to create this look and i also used this color right here for my contour so yes it's like you can girl you can use this for eyeshadow looks you can use it for contours like look how bomb let me pick this palette up though this palette is super bomb it's super compact i'm all about compact like because they're easy to travel with you know they're easy to just throw in your bag so yeah again this is the morphe palette i believe it's in burgundy one product that i don't have because um i used it to the point of literally desiccation is the, the dior lashes and they're like one of my favorite eyelashes ever today i don't have on any lashes but if i didn't have those on then i didn't want to put any lashes on because those lashes literally are so bomb and i tell you those lashes are the best lashes that i've ever tried in my entire life they are so yes guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that it was really helpful i hope that you go out and buy these products because I'm telling you that these products are staple holy grail products. Probably will use for the rest of your life. I'm literally not joking. Um, and always make sure that you carry some sort of wet wipes. Because if you're anything like me, when you're touching makeup, you will always have makeup on your hands. So just always make sure that you're carrying some type of wet wipes so that when you are out, you don't destroy your clothes or destroy your outfit. Because, you know... Somebody like me, you know, I will, I am the one to do that. So always make sure that as one of your Holy Grail products, you do always have some type of wet wipes handy dandy and right there for you to use so that you do not be walking around looking crazy, girl. If you haven't already, please subscribe, you know, subscribe to my channel. I will be trying to make, you know, more videos and yeah, just you know look out for the just leave me a comment you know i like comments and hope you guys enjoyed this video to my next video Bye guys.